Hi guys, welcome back to Cards TV. It's my day to post over at the Cards TV gallery. And since I've been having so much fun with my Cricut Expression and my Cricut Explore, I haven't used my Silhouette in I don't know how long. So I decided to go check out the Silhouette store and see what they might have that was new. And they had this cute little bunny box, treat box, and this is a Lori Whitlock design. And over at the Silhouette store, this is number 75114, and it's called a Bunny Belly Box. And I love everything Lori Whitlock does, so I decided to make that. And I've already gone ahead and cut it out, and I'm going to insert some photographs here and show you how it looks on my virtual mat in my computer. And I left it sized the way that it came. I didn't do anything except ungroup it so that I could cut my individual pieces in the colors that I wanted. Now this is the main part of the little box. It's going to go together like this. That's so cute. And you can see the silhouette makes the score lines for you. And all you have to do is score it. And I'm going to use some uh, score tape and put on these flaps. Since I'm going to be putting some candy in here, I want to make sure it's good and secure. Now you can see it's cut the bunny's face, but you can see through it. Well, Lori thought of that too. And she has you cut a piece of black cardstock to go right back here for the bunny's face. And she's got another piece of the same color to then put on top of that. And that will hide the black piece as well as make the back of the bunny more sturdy. And in the light pink, I've cut the inside of his ears. And his cute little bunny nose which is going to go right there. And then here are his little bunny feet. And it cuts the little white parts for his toes and the bottom of his foot. And then you put a, one of his feet on either side. Just like that. Isn't that cute? Now this is going to make a bow. And I'm going to have to go back and look at the picture to figure out how to put this together. But I'm going to go ahead and take all these pieces, get this adhered together, and then we're going to come back and fill this little treat box with some jelly beans. If I can keep from eating them. So I'll be back in just a sec. This won't take long at all to put it together. Here's my cute little bunny belly box. That is hard to say, guys. <laughs> But I think it turned out so cute. And I just put this one together real quickly to see how it was going to work out. So the next ones that I make, I'm going to be doing some inking around the little feet and around the pink part of the ears and all around the bunny just to give it a little bit more dimension. But I've got the feet popped up on some foam tape. And this little bow was real easy to put together. And I've got it put on with a glue dot. And you can see on the back, the black piece that goes behind the eyes is covered up by that extra piece with the ears. And that gives it a lot more stability. Now, I didn't have any Easter grass. There's not any in the stores yet. So I just took some green copy paper and cut it in little thin strips. And I ran it through my uh, paper crimper as well. And I'm going to put that in here. And then I'm going to put some jelly beans in. And probably what I will do when I give this away, and these are probably going to my grandkids, is I'll take the whole thing and put it in one of those uh, long cellophane bags and tie it with a bow at the top and then put a tag on it with their name. And that way their jelly beans aren't going to be spilling out. Let's go ahead and put some jelly beans in there and see how this is going to look. Ooh, there's some black ones. Those are my favorites. Do you guys like licorice jelly beans? I have always loved them. And I always got everybody else's because I was the only one that liked them. 
So there we go. Isn't that cute? So I guess I need to check out my silhouette more and see what's new in the silhouette store. Because this was new to me today. And I just had to make it. There's also a lamb and I think a chick. So I'm probably going to make all three of them. But that was so quick and easy. It didn't take even five minutes. And that makes a cute little treat. So thanks for coming by today, guys. Now, don't forget to stop over at the Cards TV Gallery blog. That's www.cardstvgallery.blogspot.com. And check out what the other gallery designers have been up to. They've got some awesome creations, guys, and you can get so much inspiration from them. So don't forget, Monday through Friday, it's a new post every day, and these gals are awesome. So check them out, and I will see you again soon. Bye now.